Hey everybody, Ash here for the Triple S League with another guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rob every black market shop in uh, Dishonored 2. If you're looking for a specific black market, I'll put the time codes for each one in the description. So a couple tips before we get started. There's often a lot of things lying around in the shops that you can take without the shopkeeper seeing you, uh, but the things that are in the front display cases there's really no way to grab those without the shopkeeper seeing you. At least I don't think there is. And if you knock out the shopkeeper or if they see you, that eliminates any possibility of purchasing anything else from the shop, including upgrades. So you don't want to do either of those things until you're done with the black market shop for the mission you're in. But it can be a lot of fun to take a bunch of the valuables from the back of the black market shop and then use that money to purchase upgrades from the same shop. So it it's not really stealing, right? You're just getting free upgrades. You're giving all the wealth back. Anyway, here they are in order. And for each of these missions, uh, except for one, I'm going to be showing you what to do starting from the actual black market shop. The first shop you come across is in Mission 2, Edge of the World. This one's pretty simple. You just need to grab a key to the shop, turn around, and head out of the building like this. You can exit through this door. You can't enter through that door because it's latched shut. Once you're inside, you can exit through there. Come around here and into this bloodfly infested building. Just be careful in here. A lot of blood flies. There's some bottles of uh, high proof liquor that, that can help you, though. Chuck these at the blood fly nests and it, it burns them up and calms the blood flies down. So just head up the stairs like this. Keep on going. And in this room, head through this hole in the wall, turn left to this area with the piano. Now, head up over top of this this furniture into this area. There's a couple of incendiary bolts over here that are helpful in this mission just to, uh, you know, burn up the blood fly nests. Now, over in this room, there's a nest keeper here, so deal with him however you like. You don't have to burn him alive. But, you know, you can. Whatever whatever you're into. Now, the key is actually in this glass case over here. There's a nest in there, so you'll want to take care of that. Then just walk up, grab the key. Um, there's also a health elixir there if you need it. Then just head back the way you came. So that key you grabbed was to the back door of the black market shop. So back at the shop, head out this way, turn left this time. Uh, through this window to the area where Mindy Blanchard is and you can unlock the door and just head inside and help yourself to whatever you like. Uh, there's some equipment in here, some valuables, some whale oil, some copper wire. You can open up that display case at the front of the shop and take whatever's in there, including uh, runes that are in there or other special items in there that you don't want to pay for. The next shop you come across is in Mission 4, the Clockwork Mansion. Now there's no way to do this one without alerting the shopkeepers, so make sure you've uh, finished up buying your upgrades, etc. There are some blueprints to grab in the mansion, but there is another shop in Mission 5, so it's not a not a huge deal if you want to rob the shop before you head up to the mansion. Anyway, in order to do this, you're going to need a canister of whale oil, and uh, the easiest place to grab that is inside the, uh, carriage ra uh, the carriage station over here, and the easiest way to get inside is to rewire this wall of light with a rewire tool that you can actually purchase from the black market shop. But once you're in here, grab an empty uh, whale oil tank like this, fill it like this. Head back over this way, back in the direction of the black market shop, but don't go down the stairs. Come over this way to this building. Look for this locked gate. Leave your whale oil canister there, you'll come back for it later. Get up onto this balcony, this uh, top balcony here, and head inside the building like this. Head over this way, down the stairs, and just all the way down to the basement of the building. See, now you're on the other side of the gate. There's your whale oil canister out there. Usually, there's an old beggar that comments to you about getting in the building, but he got startled by something, so he's he's being a coward. All right. Now, you find uh, these two robbers. 
talking about how they're they're trying to blast their way into the black market shop and uh, but they don't have enough whale oil so deal with them however you like now if you're going for a non-lethal uh, uh, run of the game you're gonna want to move them out of range like this because you're gonna blast right through the wall which, incidentally, is the reason why you can't do this without uh, alerting the shopkeeper. Key to the apartment gate is on that dresser there. So just head up the stairs, open up this gate, grab your tank of whale oil. Now, if you like, you could just throw it from here. But uh, a more precise way is to put it with the other two. And then blast it from a distance. It blasts a hole right through the brick wall. And then you can head on inside and just help yourself to all the goods. So, mission five, the Royal Conservatory. So this shopkeeper will give you a little side quest to retrieve something, a prototype for him from inside the conservatory. You'll get a bonus upgrade if you do that. So if you're planning to do that, you don't want to alert him or incapacitate him in any way before you do that side quest. But when you do get around to robbing the shop, just turn around and grab this giant crank wheel. Bring it with you. Just drop it here for a sec. Look in through this barred window, you'll see one of these red things. Not sure what you would call that. But anyway, shoot that off with a crossbow bolt. Grab the crank wheel again. Come over this way. Now you could go down the stairs. Or you can hop down this way like I'm doing. That'll probably make you drop the wheel, but you just grab it again. Attach to this thing. And then turn it. That opens this gate here in uh, the canal. So once that's open, go for a swim. Just swim down this way. And, uh, you see this chain here, grab that, and climb right up into the shop. Now, you gotta be careful in this one, because of the way it's set up. The shopkeeper will see you if he if uh, he turns his head just a little bit, so... You might want to be very careful, use your blink or far reach to jump around in here. Bunch of things to grab, lots of valuables. If you're careful, you can sneak right on behind him here, like this. Of course, it'll alert him if you open the cash register. Anyway, once you're done, you can just head out through the front door of the shop here and then go spend your newfound wealth and he won't really realize anything's wrong. Huh? What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Mission 6, the Dust District. For this one, the first thing you want to do is head out this door that's right opposite oh. the shop, head around this way. Go through this hole in the wall. Just knock those boards out of the way. Okay, now you're in overseer territory. Now you don't really run into any overseers, but you want to be careful. Don't make too much noise. There's some of them up on the top of this hill. Watch over this trip wire. There's a trap set right here. So you'll want to disarm that before you go or, you know, jump over the trip wire. Hop up on here, look through this window, and you'll want to shoot that board off the door there. Now, head back the way you came, back toward the shop. Whee! <laughs> Alright, so back at the shop. Now, head out this door to the left. Turn right, go up the stairs. And now you can enter the shopkeeper's apartment. Now, this is one of the more confusing ones to figure out. The combination is actually the... The shopkeeper's wedding anniversary, and you read this note beside the wedding picture, it says, Wedding in the Month of Rain. Now, just keep that in mind. Now, there's a there's a letter on the desk that is all about how her husband is far away and how they miss each other and all that. Which makes me wonder who the hell this guy is, passed out in her apartment. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. Maybe he's home on vacation. Let's just, yeah, maybe we'll just assume that. But anyway, you look at the calendar here, so um, the month of rain is the fourth month. And then there's one important date that's circled uh, in that month, the 24th. So 
That is the combination, 4 to 4 In this case, combinations can be different on different playthroughs, so that's why you need to actually go through the effort of figuring it out. Now, interestingly, when I got to the door here, the combination was already set to 4 to 4 and yet it's still locked. So that was quite a weird fluke. But anyway, I just rotated this one back around to 4, and then I was able to get in here. So there's a few things you can grab, not a ton of risk of the shopkeeper seeing you as you're sneaking around here. There's a bone charm in here that you can only get if you actually rob the shop. For mission 8, the Grand Palace, I'm going to start at the actual starting point for the mission because this is by far the most complicated setup as far as robbing the black market shop goes. There's a lot of different places you have to visit. So near the beginning, you'll find this boat um, moored nearby with these two guys uh, talking about how they're delivering supplies to the black market shop. You're going to have to come back here later, but for now, just head up this alleyway. Careful because there's a couple of guards at this intersection here. Deal with them as you choose. Come around this way into this alley. And um, there's some blood flies here, so you'll want to be careful. Up these stairs. Turn left up at these stairs. Now right across, you're right across the street from the Winslow safe shop. You want to head in here first. Head around to the back corner of the shop. And you will find a note with the gate code written on it. You're going to need this code later. In this case, it's 773. It could be different on your playthrough. Keep that in mind. Pardon me while I clear the way here. Alright, head out of the safe shop. Turn right and head up this street. There's lots of guards, and there's also a guard tower that will shoot rockets at you. Be careful of that. You want to get onto this balcony, the one with the sort of target practice dummies here. You need to head into this little apartment and deal with these guards. You don't have to kill them. You could knock them out if you'd rather. But you need to eliminate these guards, and I'll explain why in a minute. So exit the apartment, head back up this street. And now you can head past the safe shop, and right next to it on this side is the gate that you got the code for. So input the code. So seven, seven, three, for me. Now you're at the back door of the black market shop here. Grab the delivery boat key from that lady who's making the delivery. She, the, the shopkeeper's not letting, letting her in because she doesn't have the right passcode. Anyway, so grab that key and head back this way, back toward the boat. So you go all the way back here. These guys, they don't bother you too much. Just get on the boat, head over to the door on the back here, unlock it. Now you can go in and listen to this audiograph, which will give you the passcode you need to get into the back of the store. Now I did that in a specific order for a reason. If you eliminate the guards in the apartment and then get the boat key, then the audiograph will be in the boat just like this. If you get the key first, then the guards will no longer be in the apartment. And then when you get back to the boat, you'll find that everything's been confiscated, and they've gone back to the apartment. So you can either go apartment, key, then boat, like I did, or you can go key, boat, and then apartment. And that's where the audiograph will be in the apartment. But if you do it in that order, then you'll find the guards have killed these poor guys who are working on the boat here. It doesn't really affect you negatively in any way, I just, they seem like decent, hardworking guys, so I like to let them live. So that's why I take out the guards first, but you can do it however you want. Now that you've got the passcode, head back to the back door of the black market shop. And when you try to open the door, you'll give the passcode, and the shopkeep will let you in without even bothering to uh, check who's there. In fact, he won't even touch the door, he opens it telekinetically. Surprisingly, after all that, there's not a ton to pick up in this particular shop. There are a few things, and you can get the Disable Carriage Rails mission item for free, if you like. Just one more thing about the shop in this mission before we move on. If you've robbed more than one other black market shop previous to this, then the Howler Gang is going to set up an ambush for you at this shop. But I'm going to show you how you can get the drop on them. Um, starting from uh, the front of the Winslow Safe building, you want to head this way 
into the next building over, head up the stairs to the top floor, and uh, out this window, you can see a couple of the gang members waiting for you there. There's uh, five in total, I believe. So you got two on this balcony here. There's one on the second floor of the building across the street, then there's another one hiding just below where that last guy was. Down in there. And the fifth gang member is actually just inside the door to the shop. You can grab some howler dust if you like. Give him a nice little surprise. Now, because he's uh, witnessed some violence, the, the shopkeeper's going to close up shop for his own protection. But there's nothing to worry about. He's going to open up again after a few seconds. So, And then you can shop as normal with a dead body on the floor. Business as usual. And finally, on to Mission 9. This one's a lot less complicated than the last one. So uh, just head out of the shop, over through these broken gates over here. Wow, the witch sings her creepy song. There's some wolf hounds in, uh, on the street here, so you'll want to be careful of them. Okay, once the street is safe, head up the street, head past this first building. Look for this alley right beside the first building on your right. Head up these stairs, knock these bottles out of the way, and you'll find a key on this shelf. You're going to need to grab that, head back the way you came. Now, head back into the shop area, but then take the back door out. Head over here, down the steps, and uh, you'll find this gate that leads to a warehouse underneath the shop. It's just to your right, there's a crate you can climb on top, then up through the floor, and you're in the shop. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and sub. We'll talk to you later. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Sugar Bomb forum and our mods on Nexus mods.